gentlemen, I shall have great pleasure in introducing to your notice my imitations of several well-known actors and actresses, trusting it will meet with your kind approval. My first will be Mr. Martin Harvey in The Girls' Crossroads. While speaking of children to our policemen today, I said, how many of you, Mr. Billings? He said, well, at the weekend I give them a penny apiece. Last week it came to three shillings. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you. Mr. H. B. Irving in um, whatever it is he plays in. A girl used to expect diamond lockets and rings if you wanted to kiss and to hug her. Now if you want to see how a girl can love you, just bunger a pound of lump sugar. <laughs> Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much. Mr. Gertie Miller in uh, Parker PC. What are you trying to do, my pretty maids? I said to some young lady waiters. They said, we're taking our stockings off, sir, to see if we can find potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen. It's so good of you. What's that tall, skinny actor, Edmund, that one that dresses rather? Oh, I know. Sir George Alexander in Damaged Goods. <laughs> A fellow earned two pounds fifteen last week, gave his missus ten bob at the finish. She said, what have you done with the other two pounds five? He said, I treated myself to a Guinness. <laughs> On behalf of Sir George, I thank you. Mr. George Lashwood in, uh, in, in Cleethorpes. A lady fell out of a window one day on a trumpeter whose name was Linda. Is she very much hurt to the soldier, I said. He said, no, sir, she's just got the window. <laughs> Monsieur Janice Encore, I'll have great pleasure in introducing an impression of Mr. Whitaker Cunliffe in, um, in Bird. The eagle is the bird to soar, the hawk is king of the wood, the nightingale can sing the score, but the hen delivers the goods. <laughs> Thank you, gentlemen. 